I think I think Tesla will have sort of a chat GPT moment. Maybe the, if, if not this year, I'd say no later than next year. Um, Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. You're, you're going to have a sort, yeah. of, a sort of chat GPT moment. Oh, you will in terms of suddenly it will. Yeah, suddenly three million cars will be able to drive themselves right. with no one. Right. It goes back to that. Right. Yeah. And then five million cars and then 10 million cars. Tesla's FSD is about to change the world of EVs in the most remarkable way. Today's topic is truly groundbreaking with potentially monumental consequences for the entire auto industry. Elon Musk just responded to a tweet, and what he said could change the game completely. The CEO disclosed that Tesla is willing to license its remarkable FSD software to other automakers in a bid to create strong partnerships, further driving deeper interest in the use of EVs. We've seen signs of this shift for a while now, but hearing it straight from the tech expert himself is phenomenal. What we'll be sharing with you today could be the real turning point in the automotive world. And interestingly, this is an entirely new revenue channel that hasn't been factored into any analyst forecasts. So be sure to stay with us on this one as we take you through five important pros and cons of this partnership, not just for Tesla, but also for its investors. Let's get straight to it. I'm most excited about the fact that recent you know, releases in, in, the, in the AI world have indicated that Having proprietary data is even more of an advantage than we previously understood. So having access to a very large volume of vehicle data coming off the fleet, uh, you know, the vehicles drive 120 million miles a day, uh, gives Tesla a unique data advantage to, to kind of continue to improve the full self-driving capability and eventually deliver a commercializable robo-taxi service on a mass deployed vehicle that's that's already in the world. Elon Musk recently said that Tesla aspires to be as helpful as possible to other car companies. Back in 2014, when the automaker was just a small blip on the automotive radar, Tesla made the unprecedented move of releasing its patents, making them open source for anyone using them in good faith. Tesla is also enabling other companies to use their supercharger network. We've seen this with Ford, and it will be interesting to see if GM jumps on the bandwagon, but it doesn't end there. The big moment came when Musk said Tesla will license autopilot full self-driving or other Tesla technology. This recent development opens up the possibility of Tesla working directly with other automakers in ways that it hasn't since its early partnership with Daimler and Toyota. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Every car company should be storming Tesla's gates, eager to get their hands on these revolutionary technologies. It's a known fact that Tesla's full self-driving beta is not perfect, but it is leagues ahead of anything else out there. This recent tweet from Elon Musk isn't something to glance over, but a clarion call to the automotive industry. Licensing Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving technologies is not just an opportunity, it's a potential game changer. What are the strengths and limitations of this latest move by Tesla? We'll have more details in the video. But before we start, if you like this type of content, first make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date on everything happening with Tesla. First, the pros. Number one, increased revenue. By licensing its FSD technology, Tesla opens up a new monetization avenue beyond its vehicle and energy product sales and this can significantly enhance its income, making the company more financially robust. It could help Tesla further invest in other ambitious projects, such as the Tesla Semi, the Cybertruck, or even unrelated areas such as energy generation and storage solutions. Number two, market penetration. Licensing would drastically increase the reach of Tesla's FSD technology. This move might put Tesla's technology in a vast array of vehicles, encompassing various segments, from luxury to economy. And so, Tesla's technology could become even more ubiquitous, influencing how self-driving cars are perceived and accepted globally. Number 3. Data Collection One other critical aspect of this, especially for Tesla, is data collection. Data is a vital component in improving AI driving systems like FSD. The algorithms need vast amounts of real-world driving data to learn and improve. With FSD being used in many more vehicles, the diversity and volume of data that Tesla could collect would grow dramatically, and this data could lead to faster, more comprehensive improvements in the system, potentially accelerating the advent of truly autonomous vehicles. Number 4. Accelerated Transition to Autonomous Driving 
Tesla's mission has always been to accelerate the advent of sustainable transport. By licensing FSD, Tesla could speed up the acceptance and adoption of autonomous vehicles. This would not only bring about efficiency in terms of traffic management, but could also significantly reduce accidents caused by human error, leading to safer roads. Number 5. Safety Improvements Autonomous systems, including Tesla's FSD, are designed to make fewer errors than humans and reduce accidents caused by human error such as distracted or fatigued driving. Therefore, if Tesla's FSD system is adopted more broadly, it could lead to a tangible decrease in traffic accidents, saving lives and reducing the burden on healthcare systems. However, there are a few things to consider here, and you might want to pay attention to this as they are important reasons why Tesla may back out of this licensing plan before it even starts. So let's take a look at the cons here. Number 1. Brand Dilution Tesla's FSD is one of the key selling points that distinguish its cars from others in the market. By licensing this technology to other manufacturers, Tesla could risk diluting its brand value. Customers may find less incentive to buy a Tesla if similar self-driving technology is available across many other brands, potentially affecting Tesla's sales figures. Number 2. Data Security and Privacy With a greater number of vehicles using FSD, the amount of data collected would increase exponentially, and managing this vast amount of data securely is a significant challenge. Any data breach could lead to serious reputational damage for Tesla, leading to a loss of customer trust. Number 3. Potential Misuse By licensing its technology, Tesla would be giving other manufacturers access to its proprietary software, and there's a risk that other manufacturers might try to reverse the software or misuse it in ways not originally intended by Tesla. This could lead to legal disputes and also potential competitive threats if the technology is copied or modified. Number 4. Liability Issues What happens if a third-party vehicle using Tesla's FSD technology were involved in a collision? Who will be held responsible for this? Liability issues could expose Tesla to substantial legal costs and potentially significant payouts in case of accidents. Moreover, repeated accidents involving cars with FSD might damage the public's trust in the system, regardless of who is found to be legally at fault. Number 5. Dependence on Tesla's Updates With this plan, other car manufacturers using the licensed technology would be dependent on Tesla for software updates, bug fixes, and system improvements, and if Tesla is slow to roll out updates, or if there are technical issues with the updates, it could cause operational problems for these manufacturers. These are some of the critical factors that Tesla may consider before finally giving out its FSD software. But if all goes well, we could see Tesla sharing even its battery technology in the future. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section. If you would like to know what Tesla has been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.